Good morning, everybody. Today in our math, we're going to do a quick review of our shapes. We've been talking about both 2D and 3D shapes. We know 3D shapes are going to be shapes that we can hold in our hands. They have volume. They have sides and vertices and faces. Um, so, for example, we have the cube. We can hold it in our hand. We know that it is a 3D shape. My jar of peanut butter, it's got a flat side, a flat side, curves here so it can roll. It has no vertices. So what shape, what kind of shape would that be? It's a 3D shape, but I know um, if I draw a picture of a triangle, it's flat, can't hold it in my hand. That is a 2D shape. If I draw my circle, it's flat also a 2D shape. Square, 2D shape. Rectangle, it's a little longer. 2D shape. And then there's another one that we've talked about some. Um, it has six sides and it is called a hexagon. So those are all 2D shapes that we have talked about. Now, something fun that I want you to do today is we are going to make a shape robot. So we are gonna make a robot completely out of 2D shapes, just because the 2D shapes are the easiest to draw. So first things first, I just want you to start drawing a robot. So you're gonna need a pencil and a paper. Um, we can worry about coloring it after. So you do not have to do it how I do it. You can make your own robot. I'm just gonna draw a robot using some of these shapes. Okay, so let's see. I'll start with a circle for his head. Hmm. Let's do a rectangle stomach, but then we are going to add him a belly. So I'll do a hexagon. Let's see, I want him to have triangle eyes and a circle mouth and a square nose. Okay, um, let's see, let's do some arms. He needs some arms. He also needs some legs and I'm gonna stop there for right now you can decorate yours and add more detail to yours I'm just gonna stop right there so that we can try to keep our video short so after you have drawn your robot I want you to go back and we're gonna look at these shapes so the first one is a triangle it has three sides three vertices so how many triangles do I have here on my robot yeah, I only have one, two as the eyes. So you can either do the number two, you can write tallies, whatever you would like. Okay, let's go to the next one, a circle. I only have how many circles? Yep, just one, so let's write one there. Okay, this one's getting a little trickier. Square, now remember a square, all the sides are the exact same size. So how many squares do I have? Oh, I just, I just noticed I made a mistake. I gotta erase this uh, circle. There's not one circle, there's one circle here, but what about his head? Yeah, that's a circle. So we actually have two circles. Now squares. Now are these squares here? No, not all the sides are the same. So we only have how many squares? Just one. We just have one square. Rectangles, I think we're gonna have a lot of. So let's count those rectangles. We have one as the body, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So five rectangles, and then let's do hexagon. I only see one hexagon here. So we have two triangles, two circles, two squares, five rectangles, and one hexagon to make my robot. Now your robot doesn't have to look the same as mine. You can make it however you would like, as long as you're using shapes in it that you can count at the end. Would it be a very good idea to put 100 circles inside of his belly? 
you could if you're a really good counter, but we're gonna have to count them at the end. So let's make sure that um, we use a good number of, of um, shapes that you can count, okay? Even at the end, you might come up with something else. Maybe let's look at our numbers. Let's put a star next to the number that is the most. What number has the most? Five is the most, so I put a little star there. Now, um, which number is the least? Let's put a smiley next to that one. Which number is the least? Yeah, we have a tie. The least number is one. So we're gonna put smiley faces next to both of them because they're both the least. So have fun making your robot. I hope that you have all of these shapes somewhere in your robot and that you can count them up to see how many you have. Have fun, bye.